so today I want to talk about empathy. Empathy, empathy, empathy. Now, empathy is a gift. We might as well go ahead and call it a spiritual gift because this is a gift which is um, it's a gift from God, you know. So this is something that you are born with. A person is born an empath, you know. It doesn't make you... Um, being an empath doesn't make you more special than other, than other individuals. But at the same time, you hold special qualities. You know, there are special things about you that actually other people do not have. Because you see, at the end of the day, not everybody can, um, can have this gift. So it's not everybody can empathize with the people around them. Because you see, an empath is a person who has like uh, these abilities which enable them to feel the emotions of others. So the empaths, if you want to know more about empaths, there's a channel which is uh, which goes extensively describing about those empaths. So I made put a link in the description section below, the chosen 144. So if you want to know about, uh, more about empaths, the different, the different types of empaths, and all these other things that follow, I'm going to share that channel with you so that you guys can go there. If you know that you're an empath, you can go there and do your research. Because that guy explains a lot of things about, uh, about empaths and these gifts that follow um, with empaths. But you see, along your journey, you may have noticed that uh, you have always been a victim of circumstance for some reason. So usually you have noticed that because of that empathy, that ability that you have, people have usually come into your life and they have usually used you, abused you, taken from you, manipulated you, and they've done all sorts of things because they believe you're a very nice person. And whatever they can do with you, they can always get away with it. You know what I mean? So that's the reason as to why you see a lot of these empaths. They are entangled with um, very, very toxic individuals. A lot of them are born in very toxic families. And most of the times you see your brothers, your family members turning against you, destroying you, your own parents. You have been a problem in your family. You know, you guys already know we've been talking about the black sheep every now and then. So it is because of that gift you have. The gift has also been some kind of a curse because at the end of the day, it has put you in uh, very, very difficult circumstances. You know what I mean? With the people around you. So sometimes you've been abused by your own family members and friends. You see, there's one thing you have to understand about empathy. You cannot fake empathy. There's no one on this planet, on this universe. You, can, you cannot fake empathy. Now, me personally, as an individual, I, uh, I discovered that I was an empath about, we can talk about maybe like three years ago, something like that. So that's the moment when I awakened, you know what I mean? I, I awakened to, to what was going on around me. So I awakened from uh, narcissistic, narcissistic abuse. And then eventually I came to that realization that I was an empath. I've always been an empath, actually. And then a lot of things started making sense. And you know, I started uh, reflecting back on my life. I had the time to reflect. And then I figured out that, okay, so now I get it. That is why all these things had always been happening along my journey. That's because I'd always been an empath without even knowing it. I'd always been an empath. So empathy also puts you in sometimes um, very, very difficult circumstances. You know what I mean? It, it, it puts you in very difficult situations with people around you. You know, people believe that uh, empaths, they are stupid. You know, people believe empaths are stupid, they are naive. And most of the cases, it will be the case because or usually a person who doesn't know who you are, that inability to know who you are and act accordingly, it also puts you in extremely difficult circumstances. Is the reason as to why you have usually ended up with these toxic individuals and they have usually destroyed you. Now you see, a person who can feel somebody else's emotions, let's even talk about that. 
a person who can feel somebody somebody else's emotion is a very special person. You know, if you see a person suffering, going through pain, and you can actually empathize with that person, you know that those individuals are going through pain. Not only do you know it or do you see it, but actually you can feel this in your bones. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? When you're around these individuals who are going through pain, you can feel this pain in your bones. You know what I mean? That's what they call being an empath. And a lot of people around the universe, they don't have that gift. You know what I mean? So empaths, they're like, um, they're like earth angels. You know what I mean? I can say empathy are earth angels because at the end of the day, you are here to do good. You are here to heal. Because for you to be able to heal someone or to help someone, passionately, I'm not talking about just helping them because somebody has told you to help them, but helping somebody passionately, authentically, is not somebody. Is not something everybody can do. You know what I mean? So you have got to be able to empathize with the person so that now you can be able to help them. You know, with whatever it is they are dealing with. But you see, as you come to this awakening that you're an empath, that sense of awakening, you're also going to start to discover that uh, the reason why many people us usually sneaked into your life and wanted to be a part of you, the only thing they had to do was to fake empathy. I'm going to repeat this one more time. The reason why you have ended up with a lot of toxic individuals, friends, family members, relationship partners, house husbands and wives, is because those individuals, for them to be able to get closer to you, they had, first of all, to mirror your energy. Because, you see, when, you, when you're with someone, when you meet someone, you will know where they're coming from, from the heart. You know what I mean? When they're, when they're having a discussion with you, you will know actually where they're coming from in the heart. So a lot of them... They knew who you were even before you knew yourself. And they knew that when they get involved with you, there's a lot of benefits that are going to come along with that. So because you see, an empath is a person who, no matter what you've done to them, they will always um, give, you a, give you a benefit of a doubt. Because you see, the mistake that most of the empaths do, they always think that everybody is like them. You know, empaths, we have always thought that everybody is like us, you know what I mean? So when you meet other people and uh, you want to bring them in your life or they want to come into your life, so you have all, you're, you've always had that image that actually everybody around you can empathize. But it has, always, it has always not been the case because at the end of the day, you also realize that there is so many toxic people in this universe who are here to destroy. The empaths were here to build. So if it's a relationship, if it's a relationship that we want to build, it's... Um, we want to build that relationship authentically. You know what I mean? You know what you're doing in the first place. So you want to bring that, you bring harmony in that relationship to make sure that it comes out um, beautiful at the end. You know what I mean? But then there's other individuals normally who want to break up, who want to break. So you build and other people break. Along my journey as well, I've uh, had the chance to um, encounter different types of, uh, I'm talking about the journey after awakening, post awakening. So I had a chance to encounter different types of people. Then that's when I knew that, okay, now I get it. Not everybody is like me. You know what I mean? Not everybody on this universe is an earth angel. We have got demons. We have got angels and demons. So the angels, they are here to heal, to help, to elevate. And the demons, they are here to destroy. So this is like... Um, we're talking about other people who are, who are on the other side of the spectrum. You know what I mean? Very good people and sometimes very bad people. You know what I mean? Now, for an empath, it's very important to understand that um, along your journey, there will be people who will come around your life, in your life, and they are going to fake empathy. So you guys have heard about this thing. They call it, they call it the mirroring. So most of the time, these individuals, when they come into your life, the first thing they'll do, they, they'll mirror your energy. They will know who you are. You know what I mean? And it's one of the most disturbing things I've, I've discovered along my journey. These people, they know who you are even before you know who you are. You know? They know who you are on the, on the spiritual level. Even if on the physical level, they may not really know you. But on the spiritual level, they know who you are. They will first of all mirror your energy because they want to get close to you. The reason why they are trying to get very hard close to you is because they are trying to, they are trying to reap the benefits of being around good, good people and beautiful people like you. 
So it's like when they're around you, it's like you kind of light up their world. You know what I mean? Is the reason as to why you see a lot of these toxic people when you're around them, you're helping them, give them the benefit of a doubt, heal them, advise them, do one or things so one or two things to, uh, for them. They enjoy that. Uh, they enjoy the company of being around you because you are simply an empath. You know what I mean. So you'll never see these um, these narcissists being around other narcissists because those those individuals when they're around each other. They might even end up killing each other, you know, because two toxic people cannot be in the same place. They are going to burn. So when they are around the empath, it's you who is going to uh, cool down their flame, you know, because those people, those people are already burning up, you know, anyway. But when they meet you, you are going to kind of cool down their flame, you know what I mean? Bring them into stability, you know, that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, those kind of entanglements, They suck the energy out of you. They will deplete you of all your energy. You know what I mean? Those are the, those are the, those are the consequences of uh, dealing with very toxic individuals. You know what I mean? So empaths, I do not say. You guys already know in my videos. I try to make sure that we talk about uh, positivity, healing. You know, I do not push out that energy that you should start going around and hating people. But it's always important to know that you are an empath. Try to protect yourself. You know what I mean? If a person comes into your life, try to understand their motive. You may not see everything in the beginning, of course. But try to understand their motive and what do they really want from you. You know what I mean? Because you see, me as an empath, personally, I've continuously been bringing people into my life. I did not know all these things, what was going on. People would come in, i bring them in. If they want to be a friend, we can be friends. Relationships, we can be uh, in, in a relationship or things like that. But then I was like, at some point... As an empath, you have got to put that. To, you, you need to have to learn how to push that red button. You know what I mean? When you feel that somebody is draining you, and they are depleting you of your energy, you need some time to push that red button, and stop bringing in bringing in everybody that wants to be around you. Not everybody can be around you. You know. A lot of these toxic individuals who are coming into your presence, they know you have got a gift, and they want to use these gifts for their own advantage. I've seen that thing happen with. Um, with the spiritual narcissist, you know, I've seen it happen with the spiritual narcissist. I did not know who a spiritual narcissist was, but I knew that these individuals they have got the ability to actually steal somebody, somebody else's energy. So sometimes they are going to leave off of your light. You know what I mean? And they're going to leave you with nothing. Because remember that when a person is stealing your energy, they are not giving you anything in return. So they steal whatever you have, whatever it is you have with you, and they are not going to give you anything in return. So that's what those people do. It's very important, ladies and gentlemen, to protect your energy. You have got to know not everybody around you has got good intentions. Know who you are. Understand the reason as to why you have got, always got to protect yourself because your energy is supposed to be used on this planet to heal people. But you're supposed to authorize this. You know what I mean? So what I'm trying to say here is that you're supposed to authorize yourself you have got the authority to heal authentically the people around you but do not allow people to come into your life because they think you're a good person you have got good energy with you and they're just going to use you for their own benefits so this is not this is not like a game whereby people are just just going to try to sneak into your life just because they want something from you you know what i mean get involved and help where necessary because of course along your journey you will see god directing you towards certain individuals because they need healing you know what i mean there is so many people on this planet on this universe they are dealing with so much so much trauma we're talking about trauma a lot of problems so sometimes they genuinely need, they genuinely need help so they'll come to you authentically genuinely and they'll ask for your uh, guidance or assistance you can help them but no, do not allow toxic people just because they think you've got a gift or you're a good person and they're going to just come around and sneak into your life and deplete you of your own energy. You know what I mean? So empaths, you need to understand that this thing is a gift. You know what I mean? It is not everybody has got this gift. So there's people who will kill for this gift. There is people who will kill to be like you. Just because they, they weren't born with that. That thing is not within them. So... When they meet a beautiful person like you, they will kill to have what you have. 
life. You know what I mean? That's how this world operates, uh, unfortunately. So it is also important for you to understand that there is people like you. We are everywhere. We may be my, we may be a minority. We, 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 we may not be a, a, a lot of the, a lot of us, but we are very powerful. You know what I mean? Empaths, you are very powerful people. Do not let anybody talk you down and make you think that you're stupid, you're worthless. You don't know what you're doing. You know, I used to hear I used to hear a lot of those things along my journey. You know, people you, people will try to make you believe or to make you think that. You're up to no good. Whatever it is you're doing is uh, is worthless. Is is BS, you know. But you need to understand that you are the one with the power. That God, God has bestowed that power in, inside you, in, inside of you, so that you can use those gifts to help the world around you. But you're supposed to consent to that, um, to that assignment. Do not just uh, because you think that you have got these gifts and everything, you can just go around and swim around with vampires. So they are going to suck, they are going to suck the hell out of you. You know what I mean? They are going to suck, they are going to uh, deplete that energy out of you, and they will usually leave you with nothing. So empaths, beware. Remember that uh, it's a gift. It is a very unique gift, a spiritual gift that you cannot fake. Nobody can fake. When you come closer to people, you will know that they are genuine empaths. You know what I mean? If you're, if a person was learned, who has taken some some time to. Uh, to learn more things about yourself and to work on yourself, you will understand that you cannot fake this gift of empathy. You cannot fake it. When a person is trying to fake it, you will see it and you will know it. You know? So it's the reason as to why sometimes it has put me off relationships. Because sometimes you meet people and you think that, okay, so you want to date an empath. At the end of the day, you want to date somebody who means well for you. You know what I mean? But when a person comes around and you start to look very deeper within them, you know, because empaths, they are like, uh, they are like lie, lie detectors, you know? You will sense and you start to smell the lies from afar. You know, when a person comes close to you, you will know that they are, they are just trying to mirror your energy. And they are just trying to fake the empathy. So be protective of your energy. These energy vampires, they be everywhere. You have got to know it is your obligation and your duty to protect your energy and put your energy where you're supposed to put it. And do not allow anybody to steal that thing by force to steal those gifts or to steal that energy by force. Do not allow that, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, very important. So empaths, like I've said, there's a channel that uh, uh, extensively goes into, goes into, dives very deep into the empathy uh, thing. They explain a lot, a lot of things about empaths. I will uh, share that uh, channel with you guys in the section. You can always go there, learn more about yourself. Because remember, guys, the most important thing you can ever do for yourself is to know thyself. Know who you are that is the beginning of your transformation the moment you know who you are and you come to that realization of re realization of who you really are it is the moment your life is going to take off and you're going to transform to a degree you've never seen before so until then guys it's been a blessing to have you guys on board you always know that i love and appreciate your support you can always book a session with me guys if you want to you may as well donate or support my channel if you want to everything you need you will find it in the description section below and until then I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's a more signing one. Uh, there's a more signing out. Peace.